Learning Roots. Your child, your legacy. You are on a journey. You will learn about the lives of some of the best men that ever lived. These were men sent by Allah. You will learn why they were sent, who they were sent to, and what lessons we can learn from their lives. They are the prophets. The first of them is Adam salam, and the last of them is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah sent the Prophet Nur salam, to guide the people back. But it was not an easy thing to do. Fear Allah and do what Allah likes, said Nur. But his people did not want to hear. They just stuck their fingers in their ears and walked away. Don't you see how Allah made the moon light up the sky, said Nur, and how he made the sun like a lamp? It was Allah who spread the earth like a carpet for you, so why don't you show him any thanks? But his people did not care. You are a man just like us, they said. We think you're lying. Only a few people believed with Nur. The rest of the people just turned away. They became tired of him. You've called us for too long, they said. If you do not stop, we'll stone you. The more Nur called the people, the more they turned away. So Nur gave them a warning. I fear for you the punishment of a painful day, he said. Bring us the punishment if you're telling the truth, said Nur's people. They had no shame. Now they had gone too far. Allah told Nur to build a ship. It was all part of Allah's plan. Nur got to work right away and the Muslims helped too. But there was no sea nearby for the ship to sail. The people passed by making fun of Nur. They felt safe from Allah's plan. We shall make fun of you, said Nur, just like you made fun of us. He believed in the promise of Allah. It was about to come true. There was quite a lot of information in that story. See what you can remember. Why did Allah send the Prophet Nur? How can you tell the people didn't listen to Nur? Why did the people not care? Why did the people become tired of Nur? Why did Nur give his people a warning? How can you tell that the people had no shame? Why did Allah tell Nur to build a ship? Why did the people make fun of Nur? Nur boarded the ship with the Muslims. They began in the name of Allah. Animals of every kind came too. They came flying, hopping and jumping in pairs. The rest of the people stayed behind. They thought it was all a joke. But there was no turning back now. Suddenly, the rain poured down from the sky. Water gushed from the spring sprouting in the ground. Sea waves rose like mountains. Water was flowing everywhere. Riding high on the waves, the ship was safe. But the people on the ground found no place to hide. The tide swept them away. They drowned and were never seen again. The earth swallowed the water and the sky stopped its rain. The ship landed on a mountain. Nur and the Muslims were safe. Shaitan's trick did not work with Nur. He followed the truth and did what Allah likes. That is our aim in life. Some time went by, but Shaitan did not rest. People fell for his tricks again.
They carved shapes from stones and prayed to them. It seemed as though they'd never learned. Did they really want to be taught the lesson again? What can you remember from the stories you've just heard? See if you can answer these questions. What did Nur say when he boarded the ship? Was it A. La ilaha illallah B. Alhamdulillah C. Assalamu alaikum D. Bismillah Or E. Allahu Akbar Who else boarded the ship with Nur? Was it A. The bad people B. The Muslims C. The weak people D. Those who could not swim or E. The strong people Describe how the animals came on board the ship. Was it A. In groups of five B. One by one C. In groups of three D. In groups of four or E. In pairs Who stayed behind? Was it A. The bad people B. The Muslims C. The animals D. The strong people or E. Nur Where did all the water begin to come from? A. From the earth but not from the sky B. From the sky but not from the earth C. From the sky and from the earth D. From the water taps or E. From the mountains Where was the only safe place? Was it A. The ground B. The mountains C. The trees D. The ship or E. The caves What happened to the people on the ground? A. They were washed away and died B. They were washed away but did not die C. They hid in caves and were saved D. They climbed high mountains and were saved or E. They climbed tall trees and were saved How did the water go away? A. The water evaporated B. The earth swallowed the water but it kept on raining C. It stopped raining but the earth did not swallow the water D. The earth swallowed the water and the sky stopped its rain Or E. The water flowed into the sea Every journey, no matter how long, must come to an end. You have come to the end of your journey with the life of Nur alayhi salam. But did you think it was all over? Some time went by, but Shaitan did not rest. People fell for his tricks again. They carved shapes from stones and prayed to them. It seemed as though they'd never learned. Did they really want to be taught the lesson again? Discover what happens next time in the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Learning Roots. Your child, your legacy. Visit us at learningroots.com.